based on the levels that we have observed in this preliminary uh, uh, studies, we expect uh, 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 significant protection against against uh, um, any type of uh, of uh, uh, COVID-19 mediated by Omicron in individuals who have received the third uh, vaccine. We, together with our partner Pfizer, continue the development of a variant-specific vaccine against Omicron, which we recently initiated, in case it is needed with the aim to induce high levels of protection against disease, as well as prolonged duration of protection. In the midst of development, uh, the timelines are such that uh, we, are d we would be delivery ready with an Omicron adapted vaccine by March next year, pending regulatory authorization. Omicron may escape some of the immunity that the Pfizer vaccine causes. That's the main finding. At the moment, we need to learn much more about what the implications of that finding is and whether this will hold true in terms of protection of people uh, after Pfizer vaccination. We still believe that the vaccine will protect against severe disease and death. What he did is he took blood from people who got the Pfizer vaccine before. And of course, these people were enrolled in a study setting, which uh, where they give us permission to take the blood and to test it later. And uh, into that blood, he threw some of the Omicron virus. Okay, and within that blood, there are antibodies caused by the vaccine. Um, and those antibodies are supposed to bind the Omicron virus and control it. We call it neutralization. So he looked to see how much does that blood still neutralize Omicron. And then he compared the neutralization with neutralization against the, what we call an ancestral strain, which is the original strain of the coronavirus that came from Wuhan. So what he, what he showed is much less ability of the, of the blood of people who received this Pfizer vaccine to neutralize. And, um, and that uh, compared to the ability of, of neutralize, to neutralize the original strain. So it looked as if the antibodies were not as effective anymore as they were against the original strains. 